Here's something that he did say this weekend that I thought was really important because the this is planting a seed. And he has said it now. This is the fourth time that I have heard him say this. He's planting a seed. And it's really important that you understand it. This is, well, uh, let me play it, and then I'll tell you what it's all about. I think we're in a uh, context, cut five, please. not with China per se, but a context with autocrats, autocratic governments around the world, as whether or not democracies can compete with them in the rapidly changing 21st century. And I think how we act and whether we pull together as democracies is going to uh, determine whether our grandkids look back 15 years from now and say, did they step up? Our democracy is as relevant and as powerful as they have been. And I walked away from the meeting with all my colleagues believing that they are convinced that that is correct now, too. Not, I shouldn't say now, not just because of me, but they believe that to be the case. And so I think you're going to see just straightforward dealing uh, with China. And again, we're not looking, as I've told uh, Xi Jinping myself, uh, I'm not looking for conflict. Uh, where we cooperate, we'll cooperate. Where we disagree, I'm going to state it frankly. Okay. So what did he say? We're in a contest, not with China, but with autocratic governments around the world as to whether or not democracies can compete with them in the rapidly changing 21st century. Now, he follows this with a very nice little idea of, you know, that's why we all have to come together and work together for our grandchildren, and they'll ask themselves in 15 years. Um, wow, that's a, short, that's a short window, isn't it? They're going to ask themselves in 15 years whether or not a democracy, if they did the right thing right now, if democracies survive or not. Um, but he's right. And the plan is, is not uh, the United States being the United States and England being England and Germany being Germany and them all working together because they choose to work together, yet they all have their own, their own uh, uh, freedom. It's not that. It's the Great Reset where the governments get together. Did you know that one of the first things he did over in... Um, uh, over uh, at this at this uh, G7 summit, do you know the first thing he did was get all of them to agree on a minimum corporate tax. So now the world, no one will no one will tax less than fifteen percent. Excuse me. They're making a world where you cannot escape. It is, it is the definition of a one-world government. When, when Donald Trump said, I put America first, a lot of people are like, that's crazy. That is, oh my gosh, he's Adolf Hitler. No, we, we should be in competition for the best ideas and the best uh, policies. We all should be, we should be in competition. This is a monopoly of governments. When they're all colluding with each other, they're taking your escape away. They're taking your right to say, I don't want to live that way. I want to go live someplace else. That's why the federal government is supposed to be so small, because we have 50 little laboratories going on in the United States. And you may not like Texas. Texas is very different from California, as Californians now know. And, uh, and you may not like it. That's fine. Live in California. You want big government. You want a whole bunch of regulations. You want things that make you pay an arm and a leg for gasoline. Have at it. Live in California. You also get the nice weather. In Texas, you're going to get heat like you're in hell, except it's so humid I'm, well, I'm not sure if, if hell is humid or not. I, I've always thought of it as a dry heat, uh, but that sounds too much like Phoenix, which is lovely this time of year. Um, so, you know, but you're free in Texas. You're free. This is all about the Great Reset. By the way, 
up on the front page of glennbeck.com, uh, we have a letter to Congress, how you could fight back against the Great Reset. Please go to glennbeck.com uh, and read that letter. If you agree with it, please send it to your congressmen, your senators, send it to everybody you know. I don't think they are on top of this like they should be. And maybe, maybe some of them are for it. I don't know. But I don't think you'll be for it. Uh, once you understand, truly understand what is uh, what is going on with the Great Reset.